What's up guys? Top of the morning to you. And welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob and first and foremost I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope, I hope that you've enjoyed the series so far. For anyone playing along at home, today's date is the 29th of August. I feel like we've been on this mission to complete this list for the last week. I did give myself a month, a month all up, to shoot the videos, edit them and then begin publishing them. So. With that in mind, I've got another three weeks, and we've got another 72 players to go. But today's player, I'm not going to say the player is surprising to see, but certainly the number that he's at is very surprising. Last year, he surprised me, seeing as he was number four on the whole entire list. Michael Thomas, wide receiver from the Saints. This year, he's been dropped to full 68 spots and lands at number 72. But seeing as just the top 6% of the entire league even get a sniff, of being on this list it doesn't really matter whether you're number one or 100 you're still pretty damn good or at least that's what your fellow peers around the league think anyways this video is about what i think about what <laughs> this video is actually about what i think about what they think about this player <laughs> and then your comments down below are going to be what you think about what i think about what this guy thinks about this player <laughs> and to be honest it's all good so guys sit back relax Get a beverage of your choice this morning. My choice is coffee. But before we get into it, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm gonna show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minnett. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this. Yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards. It's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it, of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five-star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45-day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob. Use code Jacob for 10% off. And I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use. Guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers, guys. And enjoy the video. Okay. Here we go. Let's get into it, guys. From number four to number 72. Now, at the very least, we're going to hear something about that. Surely. So let's see what's up. We're obviously keyed in to someone like Michael Thomas. Throws near side. Mike Thomas caught in midfield. Okay, so we're hearing we're hearing from a Broncos safety talking about marking the Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas. A guy that you know is going to be a high volume target and still get the receptions and still find ways to get in the end zone. Across the goal line, touchdown! Good luck stopping him once he gets going. Does he deserve to be a top 100 player even with missing as much time as he did? Um, in my opinion, I feel like that's a that's a definite yes. Okay. First oversight, he was actually number five last year, not number four. Second oversight, he was injured. So with that in mind, let's look up his stats. Uh, not to be confused with Big Mike Thomas who was a running back back in the 70s, I believe. This is Michael Thomas. Not to be confused with Mike Thomas, a wide receiver born in 1987, drafted to the Jags, I believe, but, but career didn't quite pan out. This is Michael Thomas, a wide receiver born in 1993, or is it 1994? No, there he is. 
Michael William Thomas Jr. is six foot three, two hundred and twelve pounds. Went in the second round of the 2016 draft. He went to Ohio State, and he's been at the Saints ever since. Quick reminder of his pre-draft measurables. That's absolutely ridiculous. He's got a hand size of 10 and a half inches. That's bigger than Jarvis Landry's. He runs a 40-yard dash in 4.57. He's got a 20-yard shuttle in 4.13, a three-cone drill of under seven seconds, vertical jump of 35 inches, a broad jump of 10 foot six, and 18 reps of the goddamn bench press. And at 212 pounds, repping out 225 pounds for 18 reps, that's not bad. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Let's look at his stats. He played seven games, five games he started, only 40 receptions for 438 yards. No touchdowns. One rushing attempt for one yard. All right, so as far as his injury during the 2020 season, he was placed on injured reserve on December 19th due to a lingering ankle injury, which actually first came about in week number one against the Bucks. He recorded three catches for 17 yards before exiting the game due to a high ankle sprain. He was set to return in week number five. But on October 11th, he was declared inactive for the game by the Saints after he punched C.J. Gardner-Johnson in practice. Made his return finally in week number nine, and I assume he played out the rest of the season, which would make sense. He played seven games in the regular season, two in the postseason. We've got 438 receiving yards in the regular season and 73 in the postseason. So what have we got? Seven, seven regular season games, as opposed to something like 16. 438 receiving yards in seven games. He most probably would have snuck past at least 1,000 yards. And if we look back to his previous four seasons, 1137, 1245, 1405, 1725. So for his season to get cut short last year, that's, that's tragic. He was on course to reach 2,000 yards. Would that have been the first time in history? Let's check. Most single season receiving yards. Calvin Johnson set the record for the most single, most receiving yards in a single season with the Detroit Lions, amassing 1,946 yards in 2012. So 2,000 yards is still yet to be broken. Anyway, moving on to his 2021 season, it's, it's not looking too good. On July 23rd, on July 23rd, about two months ago, it was revealed that Thomas had undergone ankle surgery in the past month. Now, whether that's the same ankle that was giving him trouble the year before, I don't know, but he was placed on the PUP list three days later, which is what? Michael Thomas expected to miss the start of the season after undergoing ankle surgery. Expected to miss the start of the season could be a four-month recovery. The Saints' bye comes in week six, so they could be eyeing a week seven return for Michael Thomas. Anyway, that gives us a bit of an idea as to why he may have slipped down the list by 68 or 67 spots. But let's continue. I think when healthy, I think he, he's still that guy. Michael Thomas' 2021 season will be delayed due to ankle surgery. In 2020, he played just nine games, but still caught his way into the record books. Caught Mike Thomas! In just his 69th career game, Thomas eclipsed the 500 catch mark. 11 games faster than any player in NFL history. Really nice work by Mike Thomas. You know what? That's good. That is good. That even though he's missing games, there's certain records that only apply to games played. I like that. Faster than Julio Jones, Larry Fitzgerald, even the GOAT Jerry Rice. That's insane. Thomas, that's number 501. You don't break an NFL record by accident, right? He's one of the engines that he was in offense. <laughs> Can't let him get going. If we get him going, you know, it's going to be a long day for us. He's so physical with his hands. I'm trying to see some one-on-one. -on -one. His, his, his hands are ten and a half inches. You're going to do well to pry that ball out of them. Not only that, but he's six foot three. He's a big body out there. And almost like a fight, some aggressiveness. You turn on Mike. Oh, shit. Yes. Toughness is another part of his game that he definitely deserves. I actually want to break that down. He doesn't flinch. Wait for it. Makes the catch whilst stumbling. Oh, <laughs> I guess he does actually brace himself pretty well for the contact. But how does he absorb it? Well. 
He don't flinch. Toughness is another part of his game that he definitely deserves praise for. Mike Thomas, you really discount how physical he really is. Running in the middle of the field, week in and week out. You know you're going to get hit. He holds on to the football, makes a play for the Saints. It's not every day that you have a number one receiver that's willing to do that. It's at times like that where you're running into traffic that you just hope that your quarterback throws a good pass, right? Because if they throw it behind you and you're still expected to go and catch it, but yet your path is now crossing right in front of a defender who's going to snap you in half as soon as you catch that ball, you're still expected to go and catch it. So at the very least, give us a good pass, QB. Might not be a tougher route in the NFL right now than catching Mike Thomas on an inside slant. That physicality, you can really learn something from that. Just the way he likes to attack DB. Oh, shit. Mike Thomas, he's lived in beating... No, the most impressive one. Physicality, you can really learn something from that. Was Just the this one. So he's done a... Eh, 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 a bit of a shimmy with the arms to get the man thinking. Then he's gone a left right and a left and he's away <laughs> and i absolutely love it he's one of the overseas i put in a category is just have freak hands with it it's down deep short contested yeah freaky big hands he's gonna catch everything even if you look like you're in position to make a player to make a hit we're still gonna throw it and we're still gonna make the play Michael Thomas with a nice contested grab. Injuries are always part of the game. You know, when you're talking about some of the best wide receivers in the game, I, I find it pretty hard not to put Michael Thomas in there. Look at those grills. So as we see Jarvis Landry pop up, the one thing that I'll always remember about Jarvis Landry is his hand size. The one thing I'll always remember about Michael Thomas is the fact that he's got bigger hands than Jarvis Landry. So with that in mind, best of luck to the both of them. And um, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for watching. That's another video down. In the next one, we've got a Browns player by the name of Baker Mayfield. Am I surprised he's landed in the top 100? No, not at all. He's only been in the league for three short seasons, but he is a bit of a cult, cult figure around the traps, isn't he? And I cannot wait to hear what his fellow players, fellow colleagues around the league think about him in this next video. So guys, thank you for watching and peace out.